Bon Jovi and Brad Paisley visited Gulf Shores, Alabama last Friday, October 15th and Sunday, October 17th, respectively, as part of the concerts for the Coast Music Series. Their visits served a dual purpose to help out a region hit by the BP Gulf of Mexico oil spill nearing its six-month anniversary and to bring attention to the fact that a lot of the areas surrounding the Gulf are clean and back to their beautiful state. That can certainly be said for Gulf Shores, which hosted the Hangout Festival shortly after the spill on May 14th through the 16th, and it featured sets from Trey Anastasio, Ben Harper, and others. Bon Jovi played Friday night, and fans showed up in droves to see them. We love you, Bon Jovi! Bon Jovi, you rock. rock. Alabama, Alabama loves you. you. We love you, John Bon Jovi! <laughs> on the beach in Alabama on a Friday night! Are you with me out there? Are you with me out there? Are you with me out there? Brad Paisley, who played the second half of the festival, said that by visiting the area, one would never know there was an oil spill offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, it's been six months since the tragedy, and uh, here we are with a beach that does not look the least bit worse for wear. It's really beautiful and pristine, and when I was watching the news over the summer, I'm as guilty as anyone else of thinking, oh man, it'll never be the same. Well, it's the same. It's, it might even be better. So I would encourage everybody to get down here as quick as they can. Alabama Governor Bob Riley said he's hoping the concerts will shed light on what is an undiscovered gem of a beach and also help out the businesses in the area as they move past the Gulf crisis. Oh yeah, if you look out here tonight, I mean, you don't find anything that's any more ideal than this. We've got thousands and thousands of people, one of the most beautiful beaches anywhere in the world. The water is beautiful. Just look, it doesn't get any better than this. If we can get people to come back and see what you see behind me today, then we'll never have to worry about selling these beaches. The weekend of concerts for the coast, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach were at a 90% capacity rates for condos and hotels, a 65% difference over the same weekend last year as the concert series drew visitors to the area, adding a needed boost to the struggling businesses. October is still beach going weather in Alabama. And those interested in checking the concerts for the coast can now book their trip in time to see the last concert of the season, Alan Jackson, on October 30th. You can stay right there.